In the first movie in this series, we covered routing grid basics. Here are some tips and tricks to help you master routing grid operation. Did you know that you can hide sources and destinations to simplify the grid? For example, here we see that I've disabled AVB streams. I've limited the onboard mixer to eight channels of input. I've limited the computer input and output to eight channels, and I've disabled all the physical inputs and outputs except the mic inputs and phones outputs. Now when we look in the routing grid, we see a very simple set of options based on what is enabled in the Devices tab. We only need to see the I.O. ports that we're actually using. If my browser supports zooming, I can enlarge the simplified grid to make it easier to see. Here's Firefox, and I'm pressing Command Plus to make everything bigger on screen. Available inputs and outputs are shown grouped in folders. I can open or close the folders to show or hide the actual input and output channels. The Master Folder button allows me to open or close all folders with a single mouse click. To further clarify things, I can name sources and destinations. In the routing grid, Clicking a tile is what completes an input-to-output connection. Notice how the tile changes color to show its current state. Light blue means the mouse is over the tile, but I haven't completed the connection yet. When I click with my mouse, the tile turns red, indicating that the connection has just been made. If I move my mouse cursor away, the tile turns dark blue to show that the connection is still in place. There are three ways to make or break a connection in the routing grid. A single mouse click can be used on a single tile. The mouse can be dragged to make or break multiple connections with a glide motion. And multiple connections can be made or broken with a single mouse click if the folders for the inputs and outputs are closed. When you collapse a folder, the resulting tile is blue when all the enclosed inputs are connected to an output. The tile is green if at least one input has no connection. Here's a helpful feature. Each input and output in the routing grid has a signal present indicator. This will tell you at a glance if audio is currently passing through any input or output in the AVB system. Getting around inside the routing grid can be simple and quick, even for a complex setup. In our next video, we'll look at how using routing grid presets makes calling up, creating, and recalling specific setups even easier.